Aloha, I'm Brad Evans, an exhibit designer here at Bishop Museum. And on behalf of everyone here, I'd like to invite you all to the 2010 Aztec Conference in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now I know a lot of you may be thinking, a conference in Hawaii in this economic climate? How will I ever be able to convince my organization to send me? Well, that's why we're here to help. We've put together this short video. We're gonna do a little role playing to help you explain to people at your organizations why attending the 2010 conference in Honolulu is a great idea. Hey Brad, can you come in here? Hell! Why are you wearing that? You said we were role playing. Not that kind, but I brought my dice. Take it off. Fine. And as you can see, Hawaii is not immune to the general economic downturn, and we've had some downsizing here as well. But I digress. You be the Science and Technology Center professional, and I'll be your manager. How come you get to be the manager? Just go with it. In fact, you actually get the better part. So, I want you to convince me why I should send you to the Honolulu Conference in 2010. Let's say we work for a science center in... Boston? Sure. Excellent. I do a wicked Boston accent. Please don't. Fine. Hey Brad, I was hoping to attend the 2010 Aztec Conference in Honolulu. I do not have a budget for that. Look, I realize that monies are tight right now, but the 2010 conference will feature an... Where'd you get the B-roll? If I may? There'll be interesting speakers, a wide variety of vendor displays, pre and post conference tours to a number of cultural, historical sites throughout the Hawaiian Islands. Did you know that there's a wealth of cutting edge science and science education going on right now in Hawaii? Really? Like what? Well, Hawaii is home to world class telescopes atop Mount Akea. There are research institutes for oceanography, astronomy, and volcanology across the islands. And not to mention the host, Bishop Museum, is one of the premier natural history research institutions in the world. It is? Dude, how long have you been working here? Of course I'm it is. Role playing? Right. As I was saying, Bishop Museum scientists have spent more than a century traveling throughout the Pacific studying the flora and fauna and archaeology of that region. Museum scientists find an average of six new plant and animal species every year. Today, Bishop Museum's collections number in the millions, and they rival those of the great museums of the world. Like the Smithsonian's? Yep. In fact, Bishop Museum is sometimes called the Smithsonian of the Pacific. Isn't the Smithsonian sometimes called the Bishop Museum of the Potomac? Not that I know of. Anyway, Bishop Museum has a science center, a planetarium, cultural history halls. The 105-year-old Hawaiian Hall just reopened after a $20 million three-year renovation. I think we could really benefit from having a look. Good points. What else you got? Well, Aztec 2010 will be the first time that the conference is off of the North American continent. The organization is trying to increase their participation from around the world, and Honolulu is a meeting place. It's central to travelers from around the Pacific. It'll be a rare chance to network with colleagues who might not make it to a conference on North American continent. Okay, but what about the costs? Flights, hotels? I just don't have resources for it this year. Look at these numbers. Well. I've done a little research, and it turns out that early October is known as shoulder season to travel professionals. It's between the summer and winter high season, and prices for flights and hotels are a lot more reasonable than you might think. First to Hawaii from the west coast are pretty comparable to flying to the east coast. Brad, you still haven't convinced me. It's the director. He's going to give me grief about sending people to Hawaii. This conference is the most important yearly event for people in our line of work. I know the times are tough right now, but think of it this way. Professional development like conferences, tells people in your organization that you value them. It's a great way to boost morale when there are limited resources to recognize someone's contributions and commitments to their institution. Okay, you can go. Awesome! You see, it's not so hard. People may think we live in paradise, but we face the same problems all organizations face right now. We need to stay focused on the bottom line, and we need to use our resources wisely. Just because we live in Hawaii doesn't mean it's all hula and surfing. Hey, do you want to go surfing after work? Sorry, I got hula practice. Okay, see ya. Have fun at Aztec 2009 in Fort Worth, and we hope to see you all next year in Hawaii. Aloha.